I have been waiting for this moment for 52 years. When I was just a fetus, floating in the warmth of my mother's womb, I had a vision. It shone to me through the darkness of the amniotic fluid. It opened my mind and illuminated my heart box. And tonight, that vision becomes a revolution that will alter reality forever. Of course, revolution is nothing new to Apple. In 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. In 1436, the printing press. In 1956, Che Guevara. The 90s are not important, and I don't have to remind you about the last few years. And now, we bring you the eye. The eye is shiny. It's chrome. It's silicon dioxide. Chromey, glassy, shiny. It's so shiny, you can't tell the difference between the chrome and the glass, or from the other metals. And there are metals all over this thing. Metals that you haven't even heard of before, like palladium, like polonium beryllium. Base metals, like nickel, that our alchemists have transmuted into gold. White gold with a shiny, chromey, glassy curve. Like the curve of a woman. Soft, supple, longing for your touch. Waking up and making you breakfast, orange juice, toast, scrambled eggs. Is it love? Yes, it is. And that is just the front, the back. And we think this is really cool. The back is glossy. A glossy celluloid matrix composite that is both reflective and smooth to the touch. Oh, and what are those? Air holes. Four air holes equidistant from each other. Exactly one inch from the top left to the bottom left. Top right to the bottom right. Top left to the bottom right. Those are holes. And you can feel them with your fingertip just like that. Remarkable. One more thing. <laughs> If we turn it over, what have we here? A nub. A glowing LCD nub, fully luminescent, fully metallic, and 100% spherical. And now, here it is. Isn't she a beauty? I'd like to show you the first commercial we've done for the eye. Would you like to see that? Well then, here it is. Now, how much will it cost? Well, that depends on how rich you are. The wealthier you are, the less expensive it'll seem. And now, John Mayer. 